What's going on, everybody? My name is Real Nick Steel, and today we're playing one of the most anticipated games of 2017, if not the most anticipated game ever. Of course, I'm talking about Dream Daddy. This game was released by the Game Gums, it's available on Steam, and it's a daddy or father dad simulated dad dating simulator game. That's not hard to say. You make your own dad, you move to a town, I think it's called Maple Bay, and you have to make yourself a dad and go out there. The town is populated only by other single dads. So you have to make a dad yourself and date. They're all eligible, they're all ready to go, and there's multiple endings, secrets, and all that stuff. I'm looking forward to playing this game. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. I love the beginning music. It's so self simple. The guitar. And the dream. Anyway, I'm terrible singing. New game. Dad tip number three. Start building credit as early as possible. Not a bad credit, not a bad thing, yeah. Don't skip the corners. And what? Cutting? Cutting corners? Or what are you talking about? Ah. 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 Dad. <laughs> dad! Wake up! Hmm, what would a dad do? I can either wake up, pretend to be dead, pretend to be dead. Nah. Stop breathing. <sighs> Amanda shakes me. Dad, come on. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I agree to you all my early three possessions. Spread my glasses over my recliner. Okay, well, your course better get moved to the van. <sighs> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. <sighs> Good morning, Manda Panda. <sighs> mm, that grunt. Good lord. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Oh, that's my daughter. My daughter Amanda. Now nah, I've seen that tip. Start building credit as early as possible. It's a good dad tip. Try to drive in a way where you never have to use your brakes. Build that dad. Build that dad. Hmm. Now, am I going to build one like me? Or like how I want to be? <laughs> like there's a difference. No. I am a big guy. As anyone can know. So, let's start off with this as a template. I am very, very pale. As you can tell by this thing. With some redness to it. My daughter is like that color though, or darker skin. So maybe you have a tan, I'm not sure. But I am god awful pasty white. Look at that. And I am hairy, as, as you can tell. I am, I'm a hairy dude. So we'll do hair. Heads. What's my head like? Chiseled. Mm -hmm. You know what I have under this? It's chiseled. Too small. No. I like this face. Nope, this face. Okay, hair! My long, flowing brown locks. Boring. Boring! Say. I'm gonna have a lot of daddy jokes, aren't I? I think it all. Around the ear. So you look taller up front. <gasps> Goku! Goku hair! Yay! Or gonna be that. Closest to me is probably gonna be this one. Or that one. I think it'll slick back, maybe. I have that sometimes. I like the Goku. Should I be Goku and go find my Vegeta? I could do that. You know what? No. Slick hair. We'll do slick hair. And I have brownish like that. Brown? I look good. It's more of a green almost, isn't it? Ah! No. I can always know what color I want. I'm a dad. I can go gray. Um. We'll do brown hair. Like my hair. It's hard to tell because all the light. But my hair's brown. Very pale browns, like bad brown, like that. There we go, that'll work. That'll work, that's close to what I'm seeing here on camera. Eyes. What are my eyes like, huh? Boom! Gorgeous. I love it. Ah. What are my eye got? I have blue eyes, like that. Oh god, I'm angry. Ah. Vegeta! Space warrior eyes. It is Goku stuff, I can make Goku! Soul. Big shoujo eyes. Ah, I'm startled. Upturned eyes. Wide eyes. I don't know! There's so bad options. We'll do downturned eyes. I'll just change the eyebrows a little bit, maybe. Let's do mouth. Let's see. No, hamburger. No, no. Not liver mouth? 
cheese mouth. Hey. Tongue out? Hey. I don't think so. I'll do slim mouth, maybe. I'm boring, Dad! I'm just depressed at the world. I need a good man to make me feel better. My eyebrows are the same color as my hair. And they're bushy, so... Wild brows. I need a wizard brows. Nah, we'll do... Wild brows. See? Wow. They're not that bad, though, actually. Wait a minute. Let's go this one. Brown brows. I can dig it. I can dig that. Alright. Facial hair. As we all know, I have to have my goatee. Can I choose two? Because this is the closest thing to match what I have, we'll do that. And it's about the same color. I think. Yes. See, it's almost darker. Like that. I like it. Gorgeous. Looking good, Daddy. I like to go with that, but I have square glasses. Bad style. We'll go with that. Whatever. Piercings. I have no piercings. Clothes. See, I'm trying to go with me. I don't have any piercings. I don't know tattoos. So we'll do that. What do I always... I always wear these type of shirts. Or t-shirts. So, hi. Navy suit. Hi. 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 Kitten suit. Oh, God, no. There we go. I'll be... Danny clothes? Oh, I get it. Nice! I'm gonna go navy suit, though. Looking good, Daddy. Look at me. Name that, Dad. My name is Rionixio. So, Rion... Onyxio. Why not? Be that dad, be that dad. dad. I'm gonna be that dad, guys. Growing your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. <laughs> cheaper, but takes a long time. Oh, did you fall asleep packing? <laughs> I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. Ah, over there. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Hey! Hey! Whoa! I haven't seen these in years! I haven't seen these in years! You, you. <clears throat> oh my god! Who's wearing those? Wow. I pulled out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin to look through it! That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. See, my story. I had a wife, had her, she died from some complication, I don't know what, cancer, an accident, doesn't matter, but she died, and I promised her that I would never marry another woman again, I would never fall in love again, the woman. So, daddy dating, that's the story, that's what I'm doing, but whenever we try to take them off, you start crying again, you spend the first two years of your life with sunglasses on, Tuh. the nicest, coolest baby in the world, Halloween year four, is that a dinosaur? With a tiara? And a ballerina? Oh my god, the dragon costume. I love the voice actresses. The actor so far. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. Same with both. Princess, dragon. Huh? Why do I remember crying in the costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Huh? Oh good lord. Yep, definitely repress that memory. What did I mean? Oh, I clicked and I missed it. And this was you in your horse phase. Horse phase? Oh, she's a cowgirl. She wants to buy horses. Oh, but as well, no. all people, usually girls, a lot of guys too, they want ponies when they're that age. They want a pony for their birthday. And she has her face there. She's a cowgirl. It's funny. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh. Oh. I don't think that was his name. Ha ha! My superior dad arms. Hmm. My hairy dad arms. Harry! Sorry, you didn't see that. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Uh, nah. mm. I see pics. I see you pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> the Scommunist Manifesto. Scommunist Manifesto. Oh, good lord, that's such a dad pun. They did say in the description that there are so many dad puns they felt awkward doing this game. I like it. The Scommunist Manifesto I had a chance back in the day. I look off in the distance and reminisce in that rad horn section. All right, back to the game. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I don't. I didn't meet MP until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I'll stop. Mi never stop mixing those two up. Uh. Uh. My question since I was seven. Like, give it like a little bit of effort. Is she like a valley girl. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh right, Emma P was the one who. Hmm. 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 Uh. 
Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. She's a rebel. I like it. Try to steal people's pets. Flaming them. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket. Right back. That was me. I'm the best dad in the world. Oh, right! I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. I'm a wild dad, you mean. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for the PlayStation. It just happened there was a PlayStation in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Aww. Yep, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. <laughs> I spent a sit in prison for that. Oh, God. And I missed you growing up. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. Princess and Flower. The first photo photography award you ever won. Ooh, that's a close-up of a... B B uh, God, Ladybug, Ladybug. Not Ladybug. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to make Fridays. Yeah. Fridays. It's like TGI Fridays, McDonald's mixed together. That's cool. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tutorial Tostada Blasts. Good lord. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. <laughs> I'm a cool dad. Aww. Dad. Still can't drive past Mig Fridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Of course. One last photo. Mm. Aww. There's my, there's my wife. Neither of us say a word. We stared at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decided to break the silence. With a dad joke. This is the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. We got to a car accident right there at the hospital parking lot. Oh, okay. I was like, that's how she died. Good lord, that's terrible. Of course, I was freaking out, and the old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. But I didn't know what to do. You want your mother? Oh, man. She beat the old lady to the witch of her life. She holds my hand, looks directly in my eyes. The calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <clears throat> I can't talk in a girl voice. I don't have a like, deep face voice here. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. Dot, dot, dot. She was right, you know. She was right, you know. I should have broke her for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Oh. She pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. Come on, pops. We gotta finish this packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Ah. Let's go. To the van. Amanda and I pound the car and take one last look at the old house. Can I look at the old house? Look! To the left! No. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Uh -huh. Hey, remember when I shot at the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Like me. Like me. You can't tell it's underneath my shirt. I'm not lifting it for you. I don't have muscles. Leave me alone. Hey, hey remember when I shot at the other front window pretending to be a robot who ro breaks win rob robot who breaks windows? You are a very imaginative child. Uh -huh. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Wow. Broke a lot of fucking windows. Hmm. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place! You're not a kid anymore. You're a teenager. Stop breaking shit! Bad girl. Bad. Remember to make and stuff to break. Okay. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. I will it will forever hold the place in my heart, but it stings a little to leave it. I'm ready. Whoa! I need the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear to the rear view mirror. Can, can I see the mirror? Mm. Oh, God damn it. So, still mirror in a cool new pad. I clear my throat, doing my best, my best cheesy answer voice. <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Multiple places. Molten. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Ah. What a deal! I mean, it's sleeping warm for the week. Ah, she's really well. I admit my false pops. I keep it real. She sleeps so much. All teenagers sleep a lot. That's the point. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Kills you, one might argue. Good spit. Yeah. She could be an announcer too. I think it's great. We won't get be we won't won't we be close to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas. I mean trying to park downtown is, you know So are we living in the same place? Just moving down to another district or area? Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn to parallel park at some point, right? Mm. Not gonna happen. Pops. I think somebody needs to do a three point turn on their attitude on their attitude. Mm. Mm. Just reverse that shit and turn their park. Gotta do it. Gotta learn how to park. I don't know how to do that either. It's not that hard. Three point is easy. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase any ratty teens off your lawn. Just you. You're the very you are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Uh. Called it. I do. 
I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yep, you're ancient. Yeah, you're a real. Oh. Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. <laughs> Senior citizen. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Golden! Hmm. I'm a dad. I know it. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. So what's number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need a forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the wash and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Bob's cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and check the area out. Yay! Not a bad little house. Not bad. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Where's the for sale sign? I don't see this shit. I don't see a for sale sign. Hmm. Hi, hi ya! With this quick kick from Andy, the for sale sign is no more. Ah, well, she kicked it down. She kicked down the non existent sale sign. Nice form, sweet pea. Ha <laughs> ha! I got a problem with authority. Mm hmm. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I really, really go for a sandwich. <laughs> really? Karate chopping? I thought you kicked it. An ice cream sandwich, sweetie. It's a 10 a.m. Hmm. 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 What would be the dad thing to do? Unpacking would be important. We've got to get everything to them. But. 10 a.m. Do I need coffee anymore? I do. I survive on energy drinks, not coffee. So. Did you see all the dogs at the park nearby? I can send her away and do the packing myself. Mm, what would a dad do? Coffee. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup, a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useful. Loose us all day. I think we've got some coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Yep. Time to explore that new neighborhood with my daughter, Amanda. Practice makes permanent. Never that one before. Am I gonna meet my first dad? <laughs> we walk down the corner street, down the street to the, the coffee spoon, a cute little place on this corner. <laughs> Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. Just down the corner, nice and easy. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on the couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make an awkward eye contact with all the other people? He's like me! At least when I'm home from random guys and come up to me and sit in the crown next to me, I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting on my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. He thinks like me! I don't want to do anything because I don't want to go outside and be interrupted by people. Dad. And what's the t etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go sit it on the counter because you don't know where to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're the jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Things I consider every day. Every day. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! Yes, I am. We walk inside. Huh. Oh. Why, hello. So, the inside of the coffee shop was incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records lined the walls. I oh there they are. Okay, I say I see no vinyl records, but they're over there. Patrons lounge on the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record next to the little stage. Oh, there. Nice. It's a guy's hey. coffee shop. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea for the time. And I suppose now is a good time, a good idea, just like the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. Now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable by the moment I can talk. But man, we're in it now, and I just can't stop! Oh. He's dead. I like he's dead. I like you. Awkward. Hmm. So what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately it overwhelmed. I'll have a Godspeed you, black coffee! Hmm, I don't do the artsy things. Ice, Tegan, and Sarah? I don't know what half the stuff is. There we go. Oh. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, black emperor. It's really amazing and influent progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... Uh -huh. I'm doing the thing again. Yes, you are. Hey. Yes, you are, Matt. But coming right up. Amanda, what do you want? Of Macchiato di Marco, please. Oh. Coming right up. Do you want it in small, medium, or biggie small? Oh, god damn it. Uh, these puns are hurting me. Biggie small. Uh, medium. 
Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Um, I should change that, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. Matt says to making our drinks, the man now take a place on one of the couches. What's his deal? Yeah. yeah, let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! Bitch. Hey! Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfortable. And maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right in. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <laughs> okay. Amanda nudges me. Huh. This place is right next to our house, and the guy's... Seem not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hm. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always if I always stay inside and don't go outside and don't also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. But I like staying inside, not talking to people. That's the point. Messes our drinks down on the table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Why'd you drink it? Good one. Hi! We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Rion. Oh. oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. I need some little voice for these guys. Hey, right on, man. That's racist. Okay. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be maybe come in from time to time. Mm hmm. Amanda kicks my legs. Ah! Bitch. I'm sure we'll be here a lot. Hey. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Sure, Matt. Bring it out. Let me see here. Flesh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help. Come me with a name for it. Well, I think I have a taste test at first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile. You know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want to do a free creative labor. <laughs> I think that would be consumerate with, uh, I taught her well. I'm so proud of my daughter. We have trained for this day. Taking advantage of people. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Ha ha! Right on. Yeah, that. Yes. Matt serves us each a piece. Man and I happily chow down. I love banana bread, but only if it's made with nuts. I like banana nut bread. I don't like plain banana bread. It's too mellow. I don't know. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. You don't say. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I need to think of a pun. It's gotta be pun. I think I might only give it, give you dad band, dad band puns, but I'll, I might only be able to give you dad band, but I'll give it a shot. Hmm. Banana Red Kennedy's, Grateful Banana Bread, and Right Said Banana Bread. What should we do? Banana Bread Kennedy's? That's Banana and Grateful Dead. I don't know that one. Uh, I don't know. This one. Oh, good lord. He likes it. Like right said Fred. Right now, it's all about banana bread. I think the youngsters would have liked it, to despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. That's what I liked in the first place. Really? Oh. Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hmm. I'm getting it with him. Oh. I wanted to say baby because I thought it could sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it wasn't sounding so cool coming out of my mouth that maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Yeah, I like it. See, you're too handsome to be this awkward. I'm sorry. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh. oh, God. It sounds good when you say it. I'm not a professional! Across the way, the man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch it and be staring. Who was that? No. We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks, Matt. I'll be back later. Now that I have a little caffeine, where to? I need a nap. Now, the responsible thing would be to go up and start unpacking. But we're, there. we're just moved in with my daughter. We're chilling out for the week. I can go get a nap or go get some fresh air. I don't know what to do. We'll go take we'll go some fresh air. Time we soak up all the vitamin D, make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they can hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. That's a You have a rational fear of my skeleton one. Really? 
I hope that's a joke, because that's completely valid. Right, sorry. Um, to the park! To the park! Okay. Dad tip number 90. Always make, try to make others around you happy. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Man and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Don't trust things that are too nice, trust me. Good, e good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? It's a government operative. <laughs> We're on to you, baby. Ah. We walk out for a while, and eventually in a small park, toddlers chase each other. Playground dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start making our way over to it when... I think that's all we have time for today, guys. I met my first guy, my first dad, after other than myself, of course. Made a good impression, I think, especially at the coffee shop. I like Matt. He's nice. He's awkward and rambly, and he's kind of cool. So, I think we'll leave it here. I'll pick up next episode and meet whoever's here at the park. And I'll keep exploring, and... They're my... Dad, I love the music. It's so cool. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.